that, that uh, we've been mentioning. Um, one of the areas on the island is particularly concerned about the possible link between contaminated water and cancer are the people who live in Bethpage and those surrounding communities. So here to ask her question is Deanna Verbowen from a group called the Bethpage Cancer Project. Uh, go ahead and ask your question. Depending. Hi. With the new information that radium has entered the Bethpage water, why aren't the New York State lawmakers, the DEC, or the EPA putting pressure on Grumman to allow further testing of the Grumman's additional wells that Grumman publicly stated could be tested? We, the residents of Bethpage, know that these toxic plumes will never be cleaned the way they should have been cleaned 20 years ago. But the Bethpage Water District cannot fight this alone. Our lawmakers and government should be doing everything in their power to protect us for the future. My life, my family's life, the life of every resident of Bethpage and in the surrounding area is worth a lot more than the price tag that Grumman and the U.S. Navy are putting on this project, this problem. The future of my children depends on this testing, and the Grumman and the U.S. Navy have an obligation to us to protect us for the future. So I ask you again, why aren't you putting pressure okay, on the DEC? and the EPA and the New York State lawmakers too. Obviously a lot of passion in that question. So uh, let's, let's turn around, let's get, the, let's get the official response. I'll, 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 I'll try to get back to you. Um, Dennis Kelleher, what, what would be the official response to that? Well, uh, actually our firm is the engineering firm for the Bethpage Water District. And, and this is not a new issue, contamination in the Bethpage Water District. The Bethpage Water District has been fighting with Grumman and Navy probably for the last 30 years because their wells started to become contaminated 30 years ago with DOCs. And, and they've received some money to put on treatment systems, but this radon is a new thing, uh, radiologicals. And they want to get, uh, the, the Bethpage Water District wants to go and do more sampling, and they are not getting permission to reach all the wells to do okay. the testing. Adrian Esposito, are you hearing what you want to hear? No. I, well, in part from Dennis, but also she's exactly right. What's happening right now in Bethpage, frankly, I think is criminal. Number one is they will not clean it up. You're exactly right. It won't ever be clean water. As much as we've heard that professed today, when you have clean water, it's H2O. When you have treated water, it's water with trace amounts of chemicals. And we just heard the doctor say you might have less of a chance of a risk, but you still have a risk. That water should have been cleaned up and remediated 20 years ago, and it should be cleaned up and, reme and remediated. Hold on, Stone. Before it gets to the Massapequa Water District as well. It's criminal. It shouldn't happen. Every lawmaker should be with this community. Okay, and I know, I know both of you have been talking about it. I want to get real quickly. Let, 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 me, let me get real quickly. Shut the well down. Let, me, let me get the state senator to weigh in this real quickly if you can. In, two, in 2009, uh, County Executive Mangano and I asked the health department, New York State Health Department, to go in there and test an area of Bethpage where we saw an intrusion of, of chemicals and DOCs in the air quality in the groundwater. Uh, they did a test. They reported back in 2012 or 13, I forget which, it was about a year ago, and uh, they found cancer in various households that they were, they were able to reach, uh, but they came to no conclusion of any significance. They didn't say they were clustered. They didn't call it a cluster. Uh, Ed and I disagreed. We didn't think the sample size was high enough. We didn't think they, they did enough of a job. We asked them to go back and do it again with a bigger sample and a bigger study. They adamantly refused. Okay, well, obviously, this is a complex issue and a very passionate one for everyone on the panel and, and for yourself, so we're going to have to move on. I, I, but I appreciate, I appreciate the, uh, um, the comments. Let's go back to another. This